when I was offering this job, right away I was thinking, why don't we use this opportunity to market Kenya tourism industry? We are online. We are live from the Masai Mara National Reserve. We bring you this live streaming program presented by TikTok and the Kenya Tourist Board. I'm your host. My name is Jeffrey Wu. I'm the Magical Kenya brand partner of the Kenya Tourist Board. I'm also a professional wildlife photographer from Canada. Then I contact KTB from camp owners, two operators, uh, rangers, Narok County, Kenya Tourist Board. The support I have received from Kenya Tourist Industry is tremendous. We invite six people for the live interview from the leaders of the country of the tourism to the conservation um, expert. I'm really glad that we choose our main stage here in Masamara National Reserve. Hello everyone, I'm Jeffrey Wu. I'm the host of this live streaming. The gentleman sitting right beside me is Honorable Fred Seagal, who is Principal Secretary of the Kenya Wildlife Service and Tourism. It is our absolute pleasure to have him come here to talk about the conservation and also the uh, how Kenya government helped the uh, tourism. So first say hello to hello. the 82 country, hello, more than hello. 5 million viewers right now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Um, just a few questions for you, uh, Piers. Um, yeah. Number one is, what is the effort, the conservation effort that Kenya government put out especially because you are head of the conservation well, for the wildlife uh, yeah. service. So what kind of governmental effort we put it out to help sustain the wildlife in Kenya? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as you are aware, Kenya is well renowned in the world in terms of wildlife conservation. We are uh, hosting the big five in the country apart from other animals. And for many years, Kenya has been in the forefront in conservation of wildlife. We do this because it is our heritage. We are proud to host these animals because through the conservation of this wildlife, we are able to ensure that the tourists come to Kenya to watch wildlife. We are uh, to ensure that also we conserve this wildlife for posterity so that in many years coming, our children, our grandchildren will be able to appreciate the fact that we have wildlife. Uh, other countries may not be in the forefront in conservation. So we run the risk of uh, reducing these numbers in the world. But Kenya as a country has decided to conserve wildlife because wildlife is our heritage. Wildlife is what we own and we are proud of. Uh, in Kenya, we are renowned in terms, of, uh, uh, in terms of conservation of wildlife. And we do this because we know the important role wildlife is playing. Uh, tourism rely uh, mostly on uh, wildlife conservation in the country. And, and, and currently 10% of our GDP is caught from tourism. And when people come to Kenya, they come to watch wildlife. And, and, and therefore, if we don't conserve, it means that GDP will come down. So we do this because of posterity. We do this because it's an economic venture. We do this because we mean well for conservation of wildlife. Good. What kind of uh, um, uh, effort that government have made in terms of putting down more infrastructure to help the tourism? Uh, one, first, we have so many airports in the country, airstrips. Yeah. And uh, we position these airstrips so that when tourists come to Kenya, they are able to travel comfortably to those different destinations. For example, our Choma Kenyatta International Airport. Every, every now and then, uh, the government continues to improve it so that it is able to uh, have more tourists passing through the Kenyatta. In addition, there are also so many airstrips we have in the country. Right now, even here in Masai Mara, uh, recently the government approved the construction of an international airport here in Masai Mara. International airport yes, in Masai Mara? Yes, yes, yeah. Really? So, that, so that the tourists who want to charter a plane that they can come directly to Masai Mara. So this is one way of ensuring that we are able to move tourists from one area to another comfortably. And there are also so many other airstrips in the country. Uh, in, in Mombasa we have uh, international airport, we have one in Eldoret, we have uh, in Malindi, 
we have also in the south coast we also uh, have others in, in lodwa in northern kenya so most of these airstrips will ease movement of tourists from one point to another one in addition the road network has also been improved in the country the road network has been has increased in the country for the last for the last close to 10 years you will find that the, the road network tamak road is well over 10,000 square 10,000 kilometers which has been done even here in masai mara the the distance between narok and the gate of masai mara 86 kilometers has been tamaked yeah. initially it was just rough road but nowadays because of the 86 kilometers tamak ease of movement of tourists between narok headquarters of the county and the masai mara and is, people call them yeah. Sekanani highway Sekanani highway Sekanani yeah. highway is 86 kilometers yeah. i can tell you a few years ago, it was a problem. People yes. used to use up to six hours to travel between Naro That's and Shikanani. I was there. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so we are very happy, we are very excited that yeah. the infrastructure is improving in the country. Number two, if you also look at the, between Chomaganyata and, and the city center, there is a Nairobi Expressway, which in a few months time it will be ready, so that we will not be having a traffic jam in Nairobi. You arrive at the airport, you reach city center within 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Not like now when you can spend up to one hour or, or more than one hour. So this is one way of improving the infrastructure and transportation of tourists in the country. And it is very important. In addition, you are also aware that there is a new port, Lamo, which is being constructed. And, and this is, will also assist in terms of uh, uh, ease of movement of tourists from one area to another one. So, so, so really we are determined as a country to ensure that uh, we make movement to be comfortable when people come to kenya they will come again and again and again because they are able to travel fairly comfortable in in, in a fast way great and uh, since pandemic mm. kenya government have done everything to help tourism yes. what are the indicators that uh, government made effort to help the tourism afloat uh, number one uh, in uh, one way of uh, making tourism afloat, one, we used to have people who take care of wildlife in the conservancies, in the national parks and the reserves. But because the tourists have come down, it means the revenue. Uh, the revenue from these tourists has reduced. And therefore it means there is no money to pay the employees who are working in those areas. So because of this, the government, the government supported uh, Minister of Tourism and Wildlife to pay about uh, uh, to, to, to pay 20 million US dollars uh, in 2020-2021 financial year so that we use this money to pay for salaries for rangers who are protecting our wildlife in these uh, conservancies in these community conservancies and private conservancies also so uh, the government is paying their salaries uh, 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 and, and therefore we will continue protecting our wildlife. Number two, the government has also employed extra, about 5,000 com uh, community scouts to assist in conservation and protection of wildlife in these areas. In addition, the government has also given soft loans to the owners of hotels so that during this time they are able to refurbish their properties because it is a low season, they refurbish in readiness for a better season so that when the season it becomes better then their facilities will be improving so so uh, the government is really uh, doing its best to ensure that uh, they maintain and uh, ensure tourism is also growing in addition they get charges to our national parks and game reserves the government directed the institutions to reduce the amount of uh, money they pay to enter the parks or the national reserves so the, the government is supporting it so that at least when they pay their salaries it means even when they when when the case charges are reduced you encourage more people to go to their parks and the national reserves and, and and their reserves so this is one way of assisting also people in addition we've also encouraged also people to promote local tourism domestic tourism as a way of also uh, these facilities getting people so that uh, tourism is not seen to have really gone close to zero. So domestic tourism is also being promoted in the country uh, during this pandemic area. But we are happy that uh, slowly, slowly, 
the tourism sector is improving. There are a few foreign uh, tourists, foreign tourists who have come to Kenya, and we look, we, we are looking up to, we look forward to uh, having many of these, so that at least tourism is back to its feet. Great. Yes. Um, Kenya, uh, um, recently, Kenya was actually hosting what I know is the East African Rally, which in Naivasha is one of the biggest rally in the world, yeah. and that's a huge international uh, competition. Yeah. So, uh, is the Kenya government confident enough to hosting more international games or international events? Uh, let me say, even in that recently completed rally, His, His Excellency President uh, discussed and agreed with World Rally Championship that the East Africa, the Kenyan Safari Rally, will be on up to 20, I think 2026. It is for the next three years. It is still on three, four years. And uh, as a country, we are ready to host more. It was very successful. The fact that it was also done next to a park, it was very exciting. Rally drivers were were competing in an environment where there are also animals. It was very exciting. Uh, I was also there. We were able to the, the competitors. The rally uh, drivers who were there, they were very happy. And as a country, we will strive to ensure that we promote this, we support this fully as, as, as a government, so that uh, we get many of these rallies in the country. It is one way of promoting uh, tourism, it is one way of promoting the country, it is good for the region, it is good for Kenya. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Um, again, uh, the gentleman sitting beside me is the uh, principal secretary of the state of the wildlife of uh, Kenya Tourism and Wildlife Service, so uh, Honorable Fred Seagal. Thank you very much yeah, to join our, our program today. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.